Hey CP, I've got a question to ask and I'm not sure if you've answered it before, but what are some of your worst buys? Hey guys, it is Monday, March 1st, and I have 37 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. Before we get to the eBay orders, I have a couple of orders outside of eBay that sold. These are two viewers that reached out to me via email. This right here is a George Clinton vinyl record that I just picked up from the Mojo Casher crew. This is going out to a viewer named Sam for $20 free shipping. And this is also something I got from that Mojo Casher buy. This is a Hawaiian style Dale Earnhardt Sr racing shirt that is going to chelsea for 25 dollars free shipping sam and chelsea thank you both so much for the support all right first ebay sale that we're pulling is down here in c52 it is a beretta vest that i got from my guy mike uh, maybe about a month ago part of a bulk buy so i've got about 15 dollars into it that's all for 39.99 plus shipping next is a video game in a31 also something I got from Mike, but this one I just got from him last week. F-Zero for Super Nintendo that sold for $10.99 for shipping. Next is a lot of graphic novels. It's 16 of them, and I don't have an inventory code, but I see it right up there. I believe these are called Manga. I might be mispronouncing that. Got these at a garage sale last year. A whole lot I got for 5 bucks, and they sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next sale is a Funko Pop right here in e3 it is bebop from the ninja turtles i think i had this listed for maybe like 140 plus shipping i got this in that big recent book by funko pops that i made somebody reached out offering 130 dollars free shipping and i accepted next is an a31 it is a cincinnati bearcats vest brand new it's still got the little cardboard piece inside there I've only got a couple dollars into that. That sold for $14.99 free shipping. Next is something I just picked up Friday as part of a bulk buy. It's this guy right here. Battery Tender Junior, new in the packaging. I've got about $10 into that. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Sold another video game in A41. This is Sonic Mega Collection for GameCube. That sold for $13.99 free shipping. I just picked up a couple of graphing calculators from my guy Mike last week, and they both sold already. This is a pink one, uh, TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. That sold for $54.99, free shipping. Next thing's in B41. Right, nope, that's not it. Is it these? Yeah, I think it's these right here. These are stereo viewer cards. I did an auction lot for these because it was hard to pinpoint a value on them. They sold for $15.51 plus shipping. Next thing we're shipping out is a jersey that you guys saw me pick up maybe two weeks ago. It's right here. This is a Preston Wilson game used jersey and here's with the Florida Marlins. I got this and three or four other jerseys as part of an auction and I paid $100 shipping for all of them. It was like an online auction. This one I listed for... I want to say like two or three hundred. I listed it pretty high because I couldn't find any kind of you know comps on it or anything. So I thought I'd just start high and then put on offers. Somebody sent me an offer of a hundred dollars plus shipping and I accepted. Next thing is in B41. Let's move this card out of the way. It is some watches that I did an auction for. None of these are really all that special, and I didn't feel like listing them all individually, so I just did an auction. Started at a dollar, they sold for ten fifty plus shipping. Sold another video game up here in C32 hiding behind this wrestling figure probably there it is this is Gradius 3 for SNES not in great condition as you can see but still sold for $10.99 free shipping next sale is a cool one it is down in C51 these right here I just got these from my guy Mike they are vintage AO side shield goggles how cool are these? I've got maybe $15 or $20 into these. I listed them for $49.99 free shipping, and they sold. Sold another calculator right here in E42. This one is TI-84 Plus Silver, and it sold for $49.99 free shipping. Sold a vice way back here. And to be perfectly honest with you guys, I don't remember where I bought this. I, I remember not spending much on it, but I don't know where I got it. Maybe a garage sale, maybe part of a bulk buy, maybe even a thrift store, I don't know. This sold for $59.99 plus shipping, and the brand 
is Lidco, is that what it is? Yeah, but I do know some vices can bring some decent money, so if you guys come across them at sales, go ahead and look them up. I'm going to take a break from packing orders and answer a couple of viewer questions. First is from Kevin. Hey CP, I've got a question to ask and I'm not sure if you've answered it before, but what are some of your worst buys? Did you break even or were you just happy with getting something back? So there's nothing that jumps out to me, you know, as a bad buy. I've made plenty of bad buys over the years. I've made a lot of them. I remember some buys where I got like a bunch of stuff, maybe like a big collection or just like a whole tote full of something. And it just sat, you know, for months and months and months. And I just looked at it until eventually I tried to put it on Facebook Marketplace or donate it or something else. So I'd say my advice on avoiding bad buys would be when you buy something, make sure that, you know, you're excited to list it. It's something that you want to list and that there's some good money to be made. If there's going to be so much work involved, you know, just to get that little bit of money out of there, or if you're going to dread listing it and you don't want to do it, then don't do it. That's the thing with reselling is if you don't enjoy it, then you probably won't do it. There's things that I enjoy listing. Like I kind of like doing clothing from time to time, you know, maybe five pieces at a time. I like doing some die cast cars and I know plenty of other resellers that don't like to do clothing, don't like to do die cast cars. So it really has to be something that you know you're going to do. So if there's a buy in front of you and you're already saying to yourself, I'm going to dread listing this, I don't want to do it, then don't do it. Maybe if there's a ton of profit to be made, go ahead and do it. But otherwise, just steer clear. I'm curious you guys watching this too. If anybody has some advice on bad buys that they've made, leave a comment below. Okay, next question is also from Kevin, a different Kevin though. I love the idea of doing an antique booth, but I'm a little bit of a scaredy cat regarding theft. Can you please share your experience with us regarding theft? Thanks man, I love your videos. So personally, I haven't had anything stolen out of my booth. I know some people that have, um, especially in a certain antique mall in Cincinnati, it seems like theft is rampant because it is a huge, huge antique mall. There's a lot of like hidden corners and places that nobody can even see. So stuff gets stolen all the time. My advice would be to not put anything super valuable in your booth. Uh, and if you are, then get one of those, you know, glass cases where they've got to unlock it. Nothing in my booth that, you know, I have that much money into. So if a good amount of it got stolen, I really wouldn't be all that upset about it. So there's nothing in there that is going to break the bank if it just grows legs and walks out the door. But yeah, theft is something to keep in mind. Um, just plan for it, set yourself up for success, and don't put anything super small that you could just, somebody could put in their pocket and walk out the door. I sold some cards, so I went ahead and just pulled some of them instead of just doing them one at a time. We've got Jordan Alvarez. This is a uh, short print variation that sold for $19.50 plus shipping. Here is a Jason Dominguez for the Yankees. He's a pretty high prospect. Um, I got this out of a box of Bowman Draft. That sold for $66 plus shipping. Both of those were auctions. Uh, these two, we've got a lot of 100 baseball cards. There's like Roger Clemens, Johnny Damon, and some other ones. Here's a lot of 100 football cards. Troy Aikman, T.O., some other guys. Those two sold to the same buyer for $22 plus shipping. This right here is a lot of 25 cards from the 7980 Tops basketball set. Those sold for $10 plus shipping. And then right here we've got 25 basketball cards. Uh, Jordan, I think there's a Will Chamberlain in there. And then a lot of 100 basketball cards. Um, Scotty Pippen, Giannis, Patrick Ewing. There's a bunch of cards in there. These two sold to the same buyer for $32 plus shipping. Those 7980 Tops basketball cards are going out to some viewers of the channel. They say, thank you, family loves watching your channel. Chris, Sandra, and Gilbert. Guys, thank you all so much for the support. All right, just a few more lots of cars. This is the last of them. Um, I did auctions with all of these as well. This is a lot of 25 basketball. It's got a Jordan Oscar Robertson in there. Those sold for $29 plus shipping. Then we've got a lot of 7980 Tops again. Um, this was a lot of 28 instead of 25, and then the buyer also got this Chris Bosch truck. Those two sold for $17.49 plus shipping. Then we've got a lot of 25 baseball with a King Griffey Jr. Barry Bonds. Those sold for $11.50 plus shipping. And then finally, we've got a lot of 25 football. Jerry Rice, John Elway, Brett Favre, you see Emmett Smith right there. Those sold for $12.50 plus shipping. And these cards are going out to your name, William. William, thank you for the business. Hope you like the cards. Next order is two lots of diecast cars. First is right here, HW7. That's how I labeled all these. HW for Hot Wheels. There's a total of 20 diecasts, just a wide variety. We've got some Hot Wheels. We've got, what is this, a Chevy Bel Air. 
Racing Champions. I think there's some Matchbox cars in there. And the second lot is the same. Let's see, it is HW8. I did an auction for both of these, starting at a dollar each. Same buyer got these two for a total of $67.25 plus shipping. Next thing is a belt buckle and E42. Right here is the Ohio Auctioneers Association buckle. In really good condition too. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. That buckle's going out to your name, Brian. He says, hey, John, longtime viewer and fellow Ohioan displaced in St. Louis. Just wanted to support you and your lovely family. Please give a shout out to Delaware, Ohio. eBay store is Big Geek Flips. Please include some stickers, Brian. Brian, thanks so much for your support. I'll be happy to include some stickers for you. And if anyone's watching this and wants some stickers but doesn't necessarily want to buy anything in my eBay store, I have some stickers for sale in my Big Cartel store. I'll put a link down below in the description. Okay, we're going back to E42. This decanter sold. Let's see if I can wiggle it out of here. This is a Memphis decanter. Let's see if I can pronounce this. It is the sesquicentennial. Sesqu sesquicentennial. Does that sound right? It's from 1969, and they're celebrating, I guess, uh, 150 years. That's what the, the sesquicentennial is. I've only got a couple dollars into this. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a book over here in D42. I've been selling a lot of books lately. I believe it is this one right here. Yeah, Walker's Dictionary. Um, it has a stamp from a Masonic Club. So let's open this up here. There it is. Masonic Club, Troy, Ohio. Got this in that big box of books from the Piqua resellers. This sold for $29.99, free shipping. Sold another video game over here in E31. King Griffey Jr.'s Slugfest for N64. This is also something I got from my guy Mike. It sold for $11.99, free shipping. Sold another Funko Pop. I'm starting to run out of these. I've only got a few left. This is Nibbler from Futurama. He sold for $29.99, plus shipping. Okay, next thing going out is a Brilliance New York facial peel. Let's see. It's old inventory, so I didn't have a code for it, but... It should be right in here. Is this it? That's facial cream. I'm guessing the peel. Yeah, this is the peel right here. I just uh, put a sale in my store over the weekend, and this is one of the items that was on sale. It sold for $18.19, free shipping. I like running sales in my store once a year, and I think you have to have an eBay store to run a sale. I like to do it in February because it's right before garage sale season. I need to make some room for all the new stuff that I know is going to be coming in. Also because January is typically a pretty good month sales-wise. A lot of the Q4 from the previous year sales kind of trickle over into January, so I like to do it in February. And what I do is anything that has been in my store uh, between 31 and 60 days, I discount 15%. 61 to 90 days I discount 25% and 90 days plus I discount 35% not every single item some items like yearbooks and things like that that I know discounting won't help them sell that much I really I just leave those alone but everything else I've marked down I run it for two weeks and every time I do it it seems to do pretty well so if you guys have never run a sale on your store I highly recommend it it's a good way to move some old inventory okay next thing is in C41 it is a knife I just picked up on Friday as part of a bulk buy. I've got about $20 into it. That sold for $49.99, free shipping. And that knife's going out to a viewer named Gil. Gil, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. I sold another lot of die-cast cars right down here. This is also 20 of them. I also did an auction with them starting at a dollar. We've got some pretty cool ones in here. What is that? Star Spangled Banner. It's got like a flag on the car. Some Hot Wheels Racing. Uh, these sold for $40 plus shipping. Those cars are going to have to view named Ferdinand. He says, love your YouTube channel. Big fan. Bought this for my godson. Hopefully he'll have some fun playing with these toys. Thank you for all the great content you provide. Ferdinand, thanks for your support. I hope he loves those cars. Okay, next thing is another item that I had a sale on. It is a lot of three books. I want to say it's these right here. Yeah. Frederick Pohl. I got a huge collection of sci-fi novels at a garage sale last year. I'm only into each one for 10 cents. I don't have that many of them left. So this lot here is all Frederick Pohl novels. So I'm into the three for 30 cents and they sold for $7.14 plus shipping. I've got three things left to pack and they are over in my storage unit. So let's go for a little walk.
I haven't shown you guys a storage unit in a while because honestly I've just been too lazy. I, you know, the weather's nice. I like to just walk over here and get the stuff, but it's been so cold and snowy and gross that I just drive up here in the morning and grab the stuff and throw it in the car. This is kind of a catch-all for me. You know, some big awkward items like that Easter Bunny who somebody's actually supposed to come get today, believe it or not. I put some boxes in here and then like some long tail eBay stuff is what I've got in the totes. So I sold a wedge i think it's this cleveland rtx wedge i've got about ten dollars into this it sold for 34.99 plus shipping i sold this bat right here it is an easton s500 that sold for 19.99 plus shipping and the last thing is a charger for an olympus camera this guy right here i like selling oem chargers from time to time this was part of the sale that I ran, so it only sold for $7.79 free shipping. It'll go first class mail, so it'll cost me about $3 to ship. And that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.